Good day, grade 3 learners. Welcome to our lesson for Science 3, Quarter 2, Week 5, Day 2. Our topic for today is Forms and Functions of Roots, Stems, and Leaves. Before we begin, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you! Activating Prior Knowledge Let's draw a plan from what you remember. Don't forget the roots, stem, and leaves. After that, we will going to share our ideas. What shapes did you draw for each part? Who can tell me which part of the plants brings water from the grounds? Correct, it is the roots. Which part stands tall and holds the leaves? That's right, it is the stem. Which parts make food from sunlight? Correct. Leaves. Are all stems straight? Are all leaves the same shape? Today, we will find out. Lesson Purpose Intention In this lesson, we will discover the many shapes of plant parts and why they are different. These shapes help plants survive in different places. Lesson Language Practice Everybody will going to read and understand the lesson language practice. Underground means below the ground. Same as roots grow underground because they get water and minerals from the soil. Spikes Spikes are sharp pointed parts of a plant. A cactus has spikes instead of big leaves to protect itself and store water. Reading the key idea stem. In this activity, you will discover plant parts other than what you have learned yesterday. Not only that, you will also see some plant parts that you never thought were roots, stem, or leaves. Then finally, we will find out the rows of plant parts as we answer the guide question. Look at the following pictures. The pictures of an eggplant and the ginger. Developing understanding of the key idea stem. Recall its name. This plant is an eggplant. The parts of eggplants are the flower, leaves, stems, roots, and fruit. What other parts do you see? Are there flowers, fruit? Look at the eggplant stem. Is it thick or thin? Now, look at this ginger. Is this stem the same? Why is it different? Look at these leaves. Cactus, mangrove, eggplant. Are all leaves big and flat or are some small and spiky? Not all leaves are big and flat. Some like the eggplant leaf are broad and flat. Others like the cactus leaf are small and spiky. The mangrove leaf is thick and flat but smaller compared to the eggplant. This shows that leaves comes in different shapes and size depending on the plant. Here are the parts of a cactus. It has leaves, roots, and stem.
They are the parts of a carrot. It has leaves, root, and stem. Let's answer the guided question. Try to tilt the potted plant on one side. Did the plant fall to the ground? No. Why do you think so? What keeps it from falling from the pot? Correct. The roots keep it from falling. Number two. If, sun, if sunlight is only on one side of the plant and dark on the other side, what does the stem do so that leaves can get as much light as possible correct it bends where there is more light number three plant make food using the energy from the sun what plant part gets this energy that's right the leaves get the energy from the sun number four which plant part of the cactus protect it from animals that's right the leaves how does it protect the cactus it has spikes that can hurt anybody and so animals will avoid it. Number 5. Which plant part is in the carrot store foods? Correct, the root. Can you also name other examples of plants that store food in their roots? That's right, a radish. Deepening understanding of the key idea stem. All stems grow above the ground, while all roots are found underground. Do you agree? Who has seen this? Who eats tenola? What does it look like? Is it smooth or bumpy? Sample, bumpy like toes. Is this a root, a stem, or a leaf? It's a stem. Leaves grow from it when planted. This stem grows underground to store food. That's why it's thick and long. This picture is a ginger. What do you see near the water? Are those stem or roots? Correct, it, they are roots. But are they all found underground? No, they are above water. These roots grow above ground because they help the tree get air. Underwater roots can't breathe. So you notice that part of the roots are seen above to get air, but part of the roots are underwater. Get the water for the plants to live. Do all roots grow underground? No. Can you make a better statement? Some roots go above ground and some stems go underground. Plant parts can look different, but they always help the plant survive. Making generalization and abstraction. Supply the missing word using the following choices. Here are the correct answers. Evaluating learning. Label each plant part and select the letter of the correct function.
Okay is the correct answer. Great job today everyone! You listen well, share your thoughts, and work hard. Keep up the good work. Always remember to read, learn, observe, and have fun. See you next time!